and welcome back to my channel. It's Mariah slash M slash Toxic Cosplays, whatever you want to call me. And um, a lot of people have been asking me to make more videos, so I decided today. What was that? <laughs> I decided today that I'm going to make a video showing a kind of just average makeup tutorial for like cosplay makeup. You can use it for a wide variety of characters. Today I'm going to cosplay one of my OCs. So, not a specific character. But he's pretty cute and you can use his makeup for a lot of things so let's get started what i'm gonna do is use um some foundation and this is bye bye foundation in um the shade what shade is this fair because i'm very pale so i'm gonna use a makeup sponge and i'm just gonna cover my whole face with it and um yeah to put it in um and then i'll spread it around so that yeah, you just put on your foundation and then we'll move on with your foundation then you're going to want to set it with some powder and i use fit me powder it's semi-translucent and fair slash light and i use a fluffy brush like this and i'll just put it all over my face to kind of set the um, foundation so just go ahead and okay. do that so once your makeup is set uh the next thing i do is i do my eyebrows and i use this little pot it's from where is this from milani <laughs> it's in the shade uh, medium brown and i use a little angle brush like this and um, I'll show you how to do it. The little spoolie brush to brush out the, your eyebrows. And then you dip it in like that. And then I start on the top and I kind of just go like that. And I fill in the top first. I gotta use my little mirror. All right, so you fill in the top. Shape that you're gonna want for your eyebrows. And I like mine very dark and exaggerated. You don't have to do it this exact way, but in case you like how my eyebrows look and you want to do it how I do it. Whoa. Okay. And you're going to go on to the bottom. Do the same exact thing. I film the, the front part. Like so. Now that your eyebrows are filled in. Like so. What I like to do is to kind of give myself a fade. I take this little brush, it already has some little bit of concealer on it, and then I'll just go into the front and brush it out so that it looks like it's faded at the very front, like so. And then yeah, that's basically it. And I'm gonna repeat this on the other brow now. Your eyebrows are filled in and they're looking very dramatic. You're gonna wanna use whatever color your hair for your character is going to be. The color of my character's hair today is going to be dark purple. So I'm using um, Peach Palette by Too Faced. And I'm going to use the shade Delectable right here, which is a nice dark purple color. And basically what I'm gonna do is just fill in over my eyebrows and to give it a little bit of a purple tint. So it's just filling the entire eyebrow until you get a desired tip that you'd like. <laughs> Once your eyebrows are filled in, next I put in my contacts. So the color that I'm using are very bright pink, um, like so. And I got them from um, Honey Color Contacts. <laughs> the color name is Pink Manson. They're, they look like they glow almost, so they're really good for characters like Yuna or Nezuko. When requested, I show how I put them in. So first thing I'm going to do, wash your hands. You don't want anything getting on your contacts. Okay. So you're going to take the contact. And I like to like wipe off a little bit of the solution first on my hand since it gets a little hard to put in if it's really wet. Okay, so you want to pull your eyelid up like this and pull it down with the other hand and then very carefully blink a couple times to make sure it's really set. And there you go. So then you repeat the same thing with the other eye. Repeat that process. And I try not to look to the side. I try to just look straight ahead because it's hard to like get up to sit on your irises if you're like looking somewhere else. So yeah, that's how you put in contacts. What I like to do is eyeshadow. So for many of my characters, I like to use a very rosy pink and red eyeshadow look and that's no different for this character. So I like to use um, some shades out of the Peach palette and I'm also going to use the Conspiracy palette by Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a brush like this and I'm gonna dip into the shades Just Peachy and Candid Peach, kind of like mix them together. And I'll start here. <laughs> I'll start by going in my crease 
like so, kind of just like spreading it around in there. Extend down to your corner of your eye. And fill in halfway through your eyelid, like the, like your actual eyelid, just halfway. And I like to extend it very far into my brow bone because I just like how it looks more. I'm going to go underneath my eye now. I also like to go underneath to create a bit of a baggy look, like so. And extend far up like that. All right, so once you're surrounded with your eye, you take up another clean brush and you blend it out, like so. Next thing I like to do is I like to highlight and put a light color um, right here on my lid. So I'm gonna use a conspiracy palette. And I'm gonna start with the shade My Pills, which is this one. Right here, whoops, this one. And you're just gonna wanna kind of go like this. Start from the very inner corner. Now it's not focusing. And extend back and through the areas you did not cover with the pink. And then I'm gonna use the shade Ranch. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm only gonna go about halfway. I don't want too much white. And then do that for the bottom as well. Same fluffy brush from before and kind of blend it out so it looks natural. That on the so other side. So once you repeat on this eye, then the next thing I do is I use a little bit of red to kind of go into like the dark spots like right here and like in my crease. So I'm going to use the shade Flaming Hot from the Conspiracy Palette. And you're just going to want to go underneath, directly underneath your bottom eyelid right here. up into my crease a little bit but only go about halfway spread it out a little bit into my eyelid and I like it the red to be really extended this way so you're gonna and then this part's really important you have to blend or else it'll look just like bad <laughs> so like so and then repeat that on this side and just a heads up, this is the same makeup look that I do for you know. So if you're trying to cosplay you know, um, this will also work really, really well. It's basically the same thing that I do. So what I do is I take a fluffy brush and I use just peachy and candied peach. Or you can use any kind of blush. I just like it to match my eyeshadow. You know, spread it around in there. And then I like to go like on the very, very corners of my cheeks. So not like right here. I just don't like how that looks. Just like this. I'm gonna make it blend with my eyeshadow so it looks more natural. Like so. And do the same thing for the other side. So I take the same two colors and I start right here on my nose, the very, very tip of my nose. And I kind of make this motion. Pink as well. I just like how it looks. You don't have to do it. Kind of a stylistic choice. But in case you like that look, that's how you do it. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyeliner which is pretty much the most difficult part. So if you like how my eyeliner looks, watch very carefully here. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the very corner of my eye. I'm gonna go out like so. Then I'm going to draw back up to my actual eyelid this way. All the way down just yet I'll probably I'll do it later but yeah so you go like that blend and also connect more so it looks more like um, a better shape that I like thing here to up here so this point back up to the high point right here that I like if you can see it flows very smoothly from the top of my eye out to the corner all right so the next thing I do is I like to go underneath my eye to make my eyes look bigger so again I'll start out here in the corner 
draw a little line right up there and then I'll start down here not directly underneath your eyelid just a little bit below and connect back up like so like the anime eye look then you'll definitely want to do something like this all right so when you do that um, it looks more natural if you take a light color and you put it in the um, extra space there so like right in your um, bottom eyelid to make your eyes look like they're bigger back and I like to blend it out a little bit so it looks more like shadowed and not as harsh so you can just use any kind of black eyeshadow and then I also go right in my waterline here so then you'll just want to repeat that same thing on the other eye so my wings are not twins and not sisters they're like third cousins twice removed but that's okay because nobody's perfect as Hannah Montana once said so yeah so you just try to repeat it but anyways <laughs> so the next thing that I like to do is lashes these are the lashes that I like to use I like how they look pointed because they look more anime-esque so yeah you can use any lashes that you like to use but these are my favorites. So you basically just put on your lashes. I'm not good at it, so I'm probably gonna do this off camera, but um, yeah, you just put them on. And the way that I like to do it is so they're not like, they don't end like right here. They kind of end like right here so that they look more, so they extend out so they look like my eyes are bigger and that they actually are the way that I drew them. So yeah, just put them on however you like. Editing, but these took forever to get on and they're still not perfect. Like they look a little bit different from this side to this side but you just gotta accept the fact that they're not gonna be perfect and that's the way it is so the next thing that i do is i like to put um mascara on the eyelashes and then also underneath to kind of blend everything together so i use this it's colossal from maybelline it's honestly the best mascara i've ever used so what you want to do is just go on top and blend in your real eyelashes with the fake ones and then also right underneath all of your bottom eyelashes. It would help a lot if you had like fake bottom eyelashes, but I do not. So we just use mascara here. So yeah, you just do that. And then you'll also do it with the other eye. But I cannot stress this enough. If you're doing a feminine look, you're going to want to use eyelashes. If you want more natural makeup then don't but if you really really want to look like a cutesy anime girl use eyelashes because they'll make your look just look so much better and more put together and more feminine um so i always stress this please use eyelashes because they just look better okay so off camera i added some brighter purple eyeshadow to kind of give a more um purple look because they didn't look purple enough to me so next, um, if you're not doing like a cat look or anything, you can skip this next part. I'm gonna do my nose and my lips for this. So yeah, you can just skip. So, but if you are, you can stick around. So I'm gonna take um, a dark purple eyeshadow because I just don't wanna use like black or anything. It's a little bit too harsh for me. So I'm gonna use some dark purple and I'm going to start with using an eyeshadow brush to kind of draw the shape a little bit. This is the shape that I like to go for. It's a little bit darker than I want. My nose, because it looks less natural. So then you're gonna fill it in like so. This part of your nose. Subtlety. You don't want it to be like black and like huge because it'll just look bad. your nostrils right here and make sure you really fill it in so it doesn't look patchy or anything and once you've done that I like to blend it out so it looks like blended up so it doesn't look like too harsh of lines I want it to look like it's blending into your actual nose 
So I'm just gonna use a clean brush and blend it out. Get um, subtle cat nose. Oh my god. Oh, I just dropped my palette. Wow, that's on my hands. So it's a subtle little cat nose. And so then the next part, um, I'm going to do the lips. So I have like a little cat mouth. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put on a little bit of lipstick because you're going to be covering it up anyway. So I actually use this tented chapstick. on the center on the lips because I don't want it to be too harsh like actual lipstick like a nice gradient blend it out a little bit with your fingers like so okay I'll brush and I'm going to dip into caramelize in here I'm gonna start right here drawing on the line down and out Watch how I did. <laughs> Cause you don't want the lines to be too harsh. And this is like a metallic shade. So it's like really shiny. I'm gonna try to set it a little bit. is do not connect all the way up to the nose because if you do it won't look natural so yeah I'm gonna blend my nose out a little more it looks too harsh for me basically it for the cat look so if you're not doing a cat look you could have skipped all that okay so next I'm gonna do some highlight and this is the palette I use it's Revolution. I got it at Ulta. I don't really know. And um, the shade that I use is kind of, it's this one right here, kind of pinkish looking. So you're going to put it on your high points, which is my nose. Definitely the inner corner of your eyes. Highlight those dramatically because it'll just look like your eyes are popping a lot. I like to put it up here. Just tap it in. And then also, um, whoa. If I use my fingers, which is perfectly fine as well. Works just the same. And so it doesn't look as harsh, you just blend it out a little bit with a fluffy brush. And yeah, so that's it for the makeup aspect. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how I put in my fangs. Okay. So the fangs that I use are actually made out of fake nails in a kit like this. Um, I just cut them down to size to look the shape that I want them to. So that's what they look like. And how I'm going to attach it is using dental adhesive. It's Fix-It-In. So I apply just a little bit of Fix-It-In, mostly on the top center, like so. And then I will stick it onto my tooth. can see that there's a lot of the tooth up here because I want them to look small and cute. All right, so then you do that with the other one. This is what they look like. Off your teeth because this is meant for like dentures, so probably won't happen. And it's minimal lisp, whereas I find with like actual fangs that you can buy at the store, they're like too big and bulky in your mouth and they'll give you a little bit of a lisp. And these ones aren't too bad. I put them directly on my canines. Some people like to put them here as well. Just do whatever works for you. And yeah, so that's how you put in your fangs. Um, so the makeup is now complete. So next I'm going to move on to my outfit. So for this outfit, um, I'm going to wear this dark burgundy cropped long sleeve shirt. I got it from Forever 21, it's a turtleneck. And also these um, high-waisted shorts with a little ring, which are also from Forever 21. Okay, so here's the outfit. Um, I had to wear 
uh, three sports bras to kind of try to bind my chest. It didn't really work, especially since the shirt is so tight, but I did my best. So now I'm going to move on to the wig and all the accessories. So now I'm going to show you how to put on the tail. So this is the tail I have, very flexible, it's black, got it from a local Halloween store. Um, wish it was purple, but you do what you can. So put the belt through the first few loops first, and then when you get to the back loop, then you want to slide the tail through. Through. So it sits there. And then slide it through the rest of your belt loops. All the way to the front. And then your tail will be sitting back here rather nicely. So there's that. So someone requested a show how I put my wigs on, so I'll show that. So first you take a netted wig cap, I think they work better, um, put it around your neck like a necklace, push all your hair back, and then you want the um, thicker part on the bottom, it's where it has a little band. Then you pull up, and then you pull it back so that all your hair is in the back, stuff it in there. And then some people like to tie theirs. I just leave it because it's going to be stuffed under a wig anyways. So like that. Then you get your wig. I keep mine in bags like this. It's actually a Widowmaker base wig, but we're not using this for Widowmaker. This is the wig. Dark purple. Very nice. I got it from Daz Koss if you want to check them out on Amazon. So I'm going to brush it out a little bit so that all the hair is going backwards so it's easier to manage. And then you just slide it on. <laughs> it's meant to have a parting. I do not wear it like that. I do not wear it the way it's supposed to be worn. Beautiful. I know. So you want to actually like put it on your head. Pull down on all the sides. Make sure it's snug. This wig is very hard to wear. I don't like wearing it often. But this character has purple hair, so I gotta wear it. Make sure your wig cap doesn't slide back, as it often likes to do. Once you feel like it's pretty snug on your head, then you want to style it. So, the way that I like to style it is I like to have it in a little ponytail. So, I'm actually gonna do this off. So, if you guys don't know this, I absolutely hate this wig. <laughs> but it's the only one I have that'll work for this character. So I'm kind of forced to deal with it. Anyway, besides the point, now I'm going to slap on this little bell and try not to mess up my wig that literally took me forever to style. And there's that. So, I'm basically done. So, here's the finished product. Tail. I'm also wearing these socks. But yeah. So... I really hope that you guys enjoyed that little tutorial of how I get into my cosplay. It takes forever. This took me a very, very long time, but I feel like it's worth it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.